Hi everyone, it's Friday, February 7th, I believe, and I want to talk about two things today. First thing is, I've had people say to me, I started Ignite and my friends and family weren't interested. Uh, for me personally, my family and friends were not the ones that made me the most money, okay? And what I don't think people realize is this, what if you were to open up a scuba diving store? And what if none of your friends and family scuba dived, okay? And none of your friends and family wanted to scuba dive? And what if you opened up a bagel shop? And none of your friends and family liked bagels or they wanted to buy bagels off of you, okay? What would you do? Would you stop what you believed in as a, a source of income for you and your family to change your life by opening your own business because your family and friends didn't support you? No, absolutely not. That would be ridiculous. That would make no sense. That would be like me when I started my lawn care business. If none of my friends and family had lawns to cut, I didn't even cut any of my fr- family and friends' lawns because they didn't even, weren't even in the area that I could even cut their lawn in. I didn't stop my business, okay? This is a business. It's no different. The problem is it's $300 to get started, so easy in, easy out. But if it costs 300000 to get started and you started it and your friends and family didn't want to do it, you wouldn't give up, okay? That's the first thing. Think about that. Next time, your friends and family don't want to help you. What if, okay, what if you open up a jewelry shop and your friends and family didn't like jewelry? Would you would you quit? No, you wouldn't quit. The second thing is this. People call me, they text me, George, I, I, I'm no good at this. I, I don't know what to do. I, I can't do it. I, I, you know, I feel hopeless. I like to ask people one question. What is your passion in life? What are you really good at? One lady told me she was good at makeup. One person told me he was good at playing bowling. So here's what I explained to them. If I was to come up there right now and do your makeup and hair, I would be horrible at it. If I was to go bowling right now, I would be horrible at it. But if I watched videos all week long about makeup, if I watched videos all week long about bowling, if I started hanging out with the top bowlers in the country, if I started hanging out with the top makeup artists in the country, if I started reading magazines and studying makeup, I started going to conventions of makeup rather than going to a party. And I started going to bowling leagues and hanging out with bowlers and, and read bowling magazines. You're going to tell me that I wouldn't be good in a year? Absolutely. But what if I just got in it for the first week or two, realized that I sucked, and I quit? Okay? I mean, do you think that you know Peyton Manning was as good as he is now and the first time he ever touched a football in his entire life? Absolutely not. It was a journey. Peyton Manning from 10 years ago would not have been able to well, the Super Bowl this year was horrible. <laughs> My point is, Peyton Manning 10 years ago was not the same Peyton Manning he is today. George Kafalis was not the same George Kafalis he was two and a half years ago. It was, a, it was a journey of growing and becoming better by having challenges and by failing and being discouraged, okay? So anything you like in life that you're good at, whether it's dancing, singing, okay, crafts, motorcycle riding, you name it, backpacking, you're good at climbing mountains. You weren't good at it in the beginning. You weren't. You probably were horrible. You probably discouraged and you probably had to get through that challenge to make it happen. This is no different. Start accepting the things you've done in the past, guys. Start looking at the things that you've surpassed in your past life that you made it through that made you a stronger, better person and realize this is no different. It's the exact same thing. Three in 10 is not as hard as raising kids. Three in 10 is not as hard as having a good marriage. Three in 10 is not as hard as dealing with a boss, okay? Dealing with the loss of a loved one. Dealing with being down and out in your life, okay? Dealing with depression. Dealing with whatever you guys might have dealt with. Think about that. Is that really tougher than that? And you've been through that and you can't get through this? Yes, you can get through it. So I want you guys to understand that we have to start making ourselves think about other things. You know, I try to always uh, keep whatever's going on in my night business and correlate it with something in my life. And once I correlate it with something in my life and it makes sense, I have a more clear vision of how I'm going to achieve that goal and that I can do it. So with that being said, have a great weekend. I'll talk to you guys soon.